Finally, they're coming out. And the big buck's in the back. Is that him in the front? That is not him. That is. We came out here whitetail hunting a couple days ago, and it got me thinking, you know what? Every time we see a big buck, I kind of want to set up a tree stand or a tripod and see if I can't put out a couple of calls to be able to call in that buck because potentially there could be an even bigger one behind him. Now, this might be kind of a coincidence, but I have a tree stand set up right here on this railroad crossing. And I have two max weight whitetail tracks going right underneath the tree stand. I've never seen these bucks before, so I'm really curious to see what they are. Well, I cut over to where the bucks should be at right now, and I don't see any sign of them anywhere. So I don't really know where they're going to. The only thing that I know is that they cross right underneath that tree stand at some point. So I think what we're gonna do is go back to that tree stand, change the time to maybe like an hour before they drink, and see if we can't cut them off as they're coming to their zone. So while we're sitting here waiting, calling, let me show you kind of what we have set up here because it's kind of interesting. So we have our tent right here. This is a really good spot. We took down the albino whitetail here yesterday. I have a tree stand set up right here on this railroad bridge and we have the track from the Maxway buck going up this way. It's an old track and then I have a fresh track of him coming back down this way. So that means he's somewhere over here feeding and then eventually he's going to have to come drink back on this side. I don't know where he's going though. You can see his track is going this way, so I really can't tell where he's going at this point. I thought he was going to be in this zone, but he's not. So he's either going to be somewhere down here or maybe on this backside over here. I really don't know, but I can't figure it out. So I'm hoping that they come back across here. Well, we sat here for about 25 minutes now and there's no sign of not even one single whitetail here. So that means they're definitely taking an alternative route. We're going to have to figure out where that is and see if we can't find these whitetails. Just when I said that, we got whitetails coming in here, guys. We got whitetails coming in. Got a whitetail doe right there. She's crossing over there about 30 yards out. And there definitely should be some more bucks with her somewhere. We got a buck. We got a bucker here, guys. We got a bad win, too, but we definitely got a buck. Well, I tell you what, this buck's actually about to come into range here, so I think we're going to take him if he gives us a decent shot. He's about 50 yards out. He's got a cool-looking rack on him as well. He's coming right underneath us. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Turn broadside. He's about 30 yards out right there. I don't love that angle. Much better. Cut back. Cut back. Oh, just about out of breath. I'll take a front on shot. We dropped him. Whew. That was a long time we're holding our breath for. But we got him. Now, I'm still really curious where that Maxway buck is. Or actually both of them. Over there, apparently. Okay. They must be feeding over there or something. We're talking like... They gotta be feeding like right here somewhere just out of range where we can't quite call them in from here so ah uh, what could we do though what we should do is move our stand forward a little bit more this way that we have a decent wind and then when we call they actually might come in you can see there's quite a few trees here that we can set up our stand at we want to make sure we have a good wind though because this buck here was definitely not a very good wind but ended up getting no way no way that's a gold that's incredible that's a 200 scoring gold white tail buck there um i don't know if that would have been a max weight track or not i really don't but that's a really cool rack i ended up pulling a nice left lung liver shoulder weight shot at 24 yards out and a 200 white tail i've never gotten a white tail with a rack like that that made gold so you know what we're getting that thing mounted 200.7 very cool and I think we're going to set up our stand maybe like right there. Yeah. I think I like that. That should be good. Let's go over here now. Maybe like 50 yards closer. Put out some calls. See if we can't get their attention. And get this big buck to come out. I hear something. I hear something. Uh, it's going to be a doe. All right, well, if the doe's coming, there's got to be another buck with her somewhere. Like, how do I have two tracks from Max White Whitetail bucks walking right underneath the tree stand? 
And now I have a decent white tail buck and a doe. Where is the other two max weight bucks? I have no clue where they're at. But what I do know is I'm about to smoke this doe. If nothing else comes out. All right, we are definitely taking down this doe. Got her. Okay, so the only thing I think that possibly could have happened here is that there might have been only one herd here with a doe and that medium 200 whitetail buck that we got. And uh, the other two max weight whitetails that we're trying to track must be in a completely different herd. So let's hop down, we'll grab this doe and see if we can't find those two other bucks. At this point, I really don't think we need to worry about running because we just got to cover some ground and get somewhere and get there fast. You're kidding me! They were down there, they never came in! Two beautiful white tails right there! They were both right there! Unbelievable. That is unbelievable, the luck that we just had right there. They were sitting down here, and they never came into the call. Look, we were right there! We were 80 yards away from them! Oh my god. They were right there. Right below that ridge. Do you see that tree right there? We were literally calling from the tree right behind. I can't even believe that these bucks didn't come in. Well, unfortunately, those two bucks never did come into the stand. I think they trotted off over here and they're probably drinking somewhere else. So what we're gonna do now is get on the tracks and see if we can't figure out where they're heading to. Guess what guys, guess what guys? I see two beautiful bucks coming right back towards us here. The one in the back I think is actually the, yeah, the one in the back is definitely the biggest one. We just dropped that one. See, I just want to get full cover. There we go. We are taking them down. Man, I didn't even zero in. I just helped for 40 and helped for the heart and we dropped them. Two beautiful bucks stacked up right here, guys. That is awesome. Try to get them out of a tree stand, but they were too smart. They outsmarted us. Well, guess what? They didn't outsmart us this time. We took down both of them. Let's grab this one first. That's gonna be a 213 double lung liver at 10 yards away. Beautiful white tail there. And then I think this one might be a little bit bigger. Maybe, yeah, it is 223 perfect heart and double lung shot at 19 yards out. 223 gold white tail buck right there. Awesome. I found another buck out here. He's feeding at about 150, but there's also some more deer over there in that brush. You can look closely and you can definitely see some deer there. Now, I know there's for surely another buck, but there actually might be more. So we're gonna see if we can't get him to come out. All right, so that's gonna be the biggest buck that we can see here in this herd. Let's see if we can't take a shot on him. He comes out past that brush. Smoked him. Yeah, there was a couple more bucks here, but I figured He's kind of the biggest one, and the other ones weren't even decent size. This one here is eh, borderline. Yeah, probably like a 180 or something, maybe? Yeah, 170, double lunged him at 154. I don't mind that rack. We got another herd of whitetails out here, and if you look closely right there, there's a beautiful whitetail buck at about 213 yards away. The thing is though, we don't have any trees around here we could support a tree stand, so I think what we'd have to do Hey guys, maybe just get some brush here, call a little bit, and see if we can't get him to step out. 120? Definitely should work. That is not him. That is. That's him right there. Okay. Mm, I don't exactly love that angle. That's a little better. Okay. So we could take that, and then that one. And or we could take all three of them down actually Either way, it will definitely take them down. Let's go over and go take a look. I'm pretty sure we dropped the big one Yeah, looks like he's piled up over there and Vertebrae, okay, so if we had vertebrae on this one 
We probably have vertebrae on the other one. Either way, our big buck's piled up right here, so we made a pretty good shot on him. Oh, we actually hit a little bit high again. Man, I got to hold lower next time. We were so close that I forgot to aim a little bit lower. We should have zeroed in for 80, and I forgot we zeroed in for 160. But we still got him. Shoulder blade, spine, and right lung at 120 yards out, and a 208 gold white tail buck. Now, I do kind of want to show you where we are right now because this is a new location where whitetail previously haven't been before. Uh, the first spot we were at was right over here. Uh, just north of the Belmont Road outpost, right here, the whitetail we're drinking. If you get up on this ridge right here, you can look down here and you can see this little lake right here. We saw the whitetail right here drinking, and the second spot is right here by the Belmont outpost, which is just south of it. But the way to be able to come to this spot here, you actually have to come in from this backside here, and we observed it from this point right here. They were feeding or drinking right here at 1400 in the afternoon. Well, guys, I think that's going to about wrap up this video. We had an awesome hunt today. Took down a couple of really smart whitetail with the boat. Then we got a couple with the M1 out of a tree stand as well. And that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.